Uh, welcome to the show, Welch News Network. How are you doing, buddy? Ah, pretty good, Irish. How are you? I'm getting there, my friend. Getting there. So, tell me, what's the what's the background on all of this stuff? Because I I am still very Confucius about the whole thing. Now, I know uh, the situation with Laney, and I know that Chile's kind of inserted himself into it. But what's the actual background? What's what's going on here? Uh, the accident happened on the thirtieth of last month. By, from what we can understand, the first. Chile had inserted himself into this because the accident happened to happen where one of his mods lives. Okay. And she created a bridge between the family and Chile. Okay. And ever since, he has been making the most outrageous claims about what actually happened, about the officer involved, about a witness who was in the police cruiser with him, the officer's family has had to go into hiding. The witnesses have had to go into hiding because Chile's encouraging people to harass the witnesses. On his live streams, is it? Yep. So that okay. they will not talk to the police, they'll only talk to him. Is that the witnesses will only talk to him or? Yeah. He's we'll trying to get to the Chile. witnesses to only to talk to Chile. So he just wants to kind of lead the whole thing, it seems. Yes rather than leaving the professionals do their investigation, I guess. Oh, he's already said the investigation is corrupt. He said that within the first four hours of him knowing about the investigation. With absolutely no information about that. Like, he, he couldn't possibly have any information that anybody else doesn't have, really. No, none at all. And I assume, he's... if I, I'm going to have a wild guess here, and correct me if I'm wrong, has he made the claim or a claim to the effect of something like, I have people on the inside that know this and know that, and they're telling me, but I can't say their names and that kind of thing. That's his usual yes. MO. Okay. Well, I kind of knew that he was going to do that. So then um, we have a question. Okay. So this question from Jim says, uh, this time the mom and the other aunt had appeared on Welch's program and talked with Tina Slay and disavowed Chili. This was the next day. So so did they have they had already disavowed him and then spoke to you guys or the other way around? They claimed to have no knowledge of him. Then they okay. came up on our live, disavowed all knowledge of Chili, said they thought he was a crook, and then the next day went on his show and revealed that they'd been working with him for some time. Right, right, okay. Okay. So so what what do you think the, the idea there was? What was their their kind of they wanted to we were about to review all of Chile's coverage mm -hmm. of the family, the incident, the whole lot. Yeah. If we'd have got about ten minutes further into it than we did, we'd have started to discover some disturbing things. About... He'd been live earlier that day about the links between Chile and the family. Right, but okay. the family okay. requested we stop, so we stopped. Okay. Never reviewed that stuff until Chile put out this interview, and we went, "Hang on a second, what the hell's going on here?" Okay, so, so this interview was so so this was definitely filmed. Oh, so this was actually live, of course. So it was the day after you guys had already spoken to them. Yep. Okay, okay, now it makes sense. And then we have uh, Tina Slay said, I did drawing live with Welch. Unfortunately, the family uh, has been working with him since January 1st. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen my show, but what we have is a panel. It's always, yeah. usually around four. Okay. They asked to come up. We reached out to Tina to ask her to come up, and I kicked the panel all into the backstage, and it was literally just Tina and the family talking. Right, no one interfered. Right. Tina explained her relationship with Chile. The family talked about what was going on with them. That was it. Uh, that yeah, it seems that it is a bit questionable for sure. Um, now, like of course, bear, bearing in mind that I suppose people don't necessarily think straight when you know they've had a a loss like that, especially a child uh, in the family. And so I can kind of you know you, you can kind of look at things a bit more. Um, you know, forgivingly at that, forgivingly, is that even a word? With a more forgiving kind of view, but at the same time, you have to look at the facts and see what the situation is. Um, somebody asked me to ask you, because um, of course I, I caught a little piece of um, of the live panel you were on last night. i so sorry, I can't remember whose channel that was on. Uh, was kind of flipping between, 
Oh, Fraud of the Reapers channel. Yeah, of course. Um, so there was some stuff came up about the FBI. Well, what was the story there? Because I was kind of, I don't know if you saw my comments in the side chat, but I was really confused by what was actually going on there and, and the whole thing with the children and stuff like that. We got contacted by one of our listeners who happens to be involved in healthcare in the US okay. with a big concern about one of the people she was responsible for, a child. Okay. We then spent about six hours helping them guide them through the HIPAA thing by calling in various researchers to come and talk to them. Mm -hmm. They then went to the FBI to report what they'd found. Okay. And there was an issue with HIPAA because the parents of the child had said they did not want the police involved. Yes. Which and, puts and it on a grey area on whether you're legally allowed to or not, Tal. Yes. Yeah, no, I mean, that that is definitely understandable. And so, obviously, I, I won't put words in your mouth and I won't ask you to say anything that you feel you, you're not allowed to or shouldn't say. So is there a link in your view or from, from what we can ext extrapolate from the whole thing that um, there's something to do with Chile asking children to appear for some kind of a rally or something like that? Yes, more of that came out later, because later on that evening as I was about to sign off, I actually got contacted <clears throat> by three other people who were not watchers of the show, but were parents, had found out that their children were planning to go meet up with Chili, and had put in a search for Lainey and stuff, and had found our show and the details through that, and just reached out. They right. showed me some screenshots which I then told them they really needed to go to the FBI with this. And so so this apparently happened on a live stream, is that right? Where No. Where, uh, no. Oh, okay, okay. So he didn't this ask happened, kids to go on a live stream, no? Uh, he was. He has been telling kids to go reach out to other kids on social media, but there was no thing about doing it behind the parents' back on social media. Yeah, yeah. On the and, live stream. So did did anything come of this whole thing about asking kids? Where, when is this rally supposed to take place? Uh, tomorrow. Oops, sorry. It was um, supposed to be this weekend, but they bumped it to tomorrow. Right. To kind of get it over and done with, I would imagine. But, and is this rally in relation to, to Lainey or? Yes. Right. Um, There's a lot of I, strange stuff going on here. I also because of the information I'd received, the screenshots, I made contact with the FBI to make sure that these screenshots had been given over to them. Yeah. That's the point where I got told, thank you for your information. This is an active in investigation. We okay. can't comment further. I told them what I was planning to do. They said, please wait until you get an email from us with a list of things we would rather you didn't mention. Okay. And did that, some such email come through? Obviously, I want to ask you to... Yes, and I... It, it was a pain for me because it ended up being in, in the middle of when I was doing a live that the email finally came through with what right. I could and couldn't say. So then we went oh, okay. live and warned people about what was going on. Right, right, right. I get you. So, the, so they're saying to you that there is an open investigation into Chile... Or at least that's what it seems anyway. Yes, that's what they've said, that there's an open investigation. That's it. No more comment. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dear McCostello says, so someone involved in child care, care asked you to help her with HIPAA. I, I don't yes. know what any of that is, but... Uh, Health care, not child care. It's not specific not to children. Care. Oh, okay. Just so happens that it was, it happened to be a child. Is that yes. the... Okay, okay, that makes sense. Um, and there was another one came through. Oh, okay. Mainly because the for their time zone, they had I, their offices were shut and there was no one they could ask, and they were going out of their mind over this over one particular should, child. Yeah. And was the, was it a case that that child had already been missing, or had kind of given no, the parents? That they were? The parents had managed to intervene. Okay, okay. Is that one of the kids where they found information on the phone with respect to Chile? Yes. Okay, okay. And I suppose the other question is, just to get clarity from you, because I know a few people are asking about the, the offer of 40000 for the GoFundMe and, and 
your decision not to do that. What was the situation there? Because again, this is all very new to me. So I'd made up my mind that I was going to. I hadn't announced it. And then we found this interview came out and I went, oh, hell no. I'd been talking with various panel members about it. And a few of them were also going to make donations. And they decided, right. no, we can't. The links yeah. with him are, there's been all sorts of things with the GoFundMe. One person made a $5 donation to the GoFundMe. Chile doesn't like them, so Chile refunded it through his cash app. Right. And and so if that's the case, who who is the GoFundMe set up by? Is it set up by Chile? We're not sure. We think it's set up by one of the ants. Does anybody have a link to it? And I'll I'll see if it I can figure that out. It says it's set up by Jessica, one of the ants, the one who okay. was first talking. And the uh, beneficiary is Opal. But it also says it's for the funeral costs, which the state have paid. The state have already paid it. Would there be any kind of auxiliary costs, you know, with respect to the funeral, like maybe flying family in or something? Maybe that that might be what, just I trying have, to kind of play devil's advocate here on it, you know. Um, I have no I, idea. I think this message is for you. This is from Andrew D says, "Hey, hey, good looking." That's oh, got to be for you. For you. It's definitely <laughs> no. I'm thinking it's for you. Um, so anyway, uh, the Dark Nook reckons that the ant has been corrupted. Um, I wouldn't be able to comment on that because I, I just don't know enough about it right now. Um, would you have any comment on that? Or I'm not sure whether the ants corrupted Chile or whether Chile's corrupted the ant. Right. There's definitely something... Uh, mm. I mean, just based on, on Chile's propensity for the way he acts, um, I would be kind of thinking that you know, Chile's got a bit of a griff going here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, we've had, and um, Tina's had emails from the family. Right. Basically insulting us quite a lot, which, okay, fine, they're grieving, they may not agree with us, that's fine, don't care. But the overwhelming thing they're interested in is we're damaging their ability to make money. Right. And was that in respect to the kind of responses that you guys had to their connection with Chile, is it? Yes. Right, right, right. Um, Steve K asks a question, and I would ask anybody who's watching not to kind of, um, not to respond to this if you don't know any facts, okay? So Steve K says, uh, Welch, any news about Lainey Drunkstone and playing chicken? I, I, I have heard that a few times, but I do not know... The uh, other the children is. who were with her and Lainey's mother say that she was drunk and stoned. Okay. The, where, uh, did, where did her mother say this? Live on Chili's show. Oh, okay. That's not good. Uh, was that on this uh, this interview yep. that I was watching a minute ago? Okay, we might actually play that here in a minute and see what the story is there. Um, let me get to, I think there might be a couple more questions here before we continue. Dermot says, uh, people in some chats have been saying Chile is a one of those words that I can't say on the YouTubes. Um, I don't know and I don't, I wouldn't like to say that without any, uh, without any absolute evidence of that being specifically true. Uh, Playtime Charlie says NC Tyrant Hunter got called out for asking for money on a GoFundMe and kept the money. Uh, that's the story within their auditing community. I hear uh, that doesn't surprise me, uh, and which actually leads me to the um, the next thing from Dearman says. Chili got money to his cash app and only passed on half of it. Does anybody have any info on that? We don't know from his cash app and his Venmo. We do know from his PayPal. Uh, not PayPal, Super Chat, sorry. Right. He's On the first two lives he did, he passed on half of it. On the next two he's done, he passed on maybe 10% of it. Right, that is... Because we can see how much money comes in on screen, and we can go look at the GoFundMe and see how much money he's kicked over to the GoFundMe. Yeah, and and like if he was to take off thirty percent, I'd say okay, because obviously YouTube he take takes 30%. off fifty automatically, thirty that he claimed the YouTube bit, and then he claims twenty percent for tax reasons. 
like, are we really accepting for one moment that Chili pays tax on Super Chats? Let's be real here. <laughs> Not really, but at least he's honest about that. He tells that up front. Well, uh, yeah, that's, that's so very that's fair. That's fine. You know what you're getting into. That's a very good point, actually. Uh, Twister's Music says, does Welsh News think that the family's in with little Chilito on his grift? Yes, I do. You, you really, like, 100% believe that? Yes. I can't comment on that because I don't, I, I just don't know, uh, personally. Um, Jim Finch says, Chili has been saying the same thing on recent live streams that if the officer goes back to policing, he'll get the children from junior and senior high to rise up against them. That is a pretty strange comment for him to make. That's for sure. Charlie Welch says everyone needs to stop throwing around those allegations. It's so stupid. I agree. I, I think it just lessens uh, the reality of such disgusting things. So yeah, I would ask people to do the same without evidence. I think it's a terrible thing to say. Um, I agree with the Irish. I would say whilst there's disturbing information about Chile's growing obsession with younger people. There's nothing to point out that that's in any way that kind of obsession. I agree, hundred percent. Like the, it is very much, um, it, it is very much grooming. There, there is grooming involved, and I don't mean that to say that he's one of those types of people, but the the behavior that he's he's what he's doing, it is it is absolutely grooming behavior, and just like any cult or any you know new religion or whatever the case may be they always go after the young ones um, because they're the easiest ones to kind of turn or whatever. So to me, that's exactly what Chili's doing right now. Uh, John Pearson says he used the $5 refund to Tim and Sarah as a weapon. I believe that's Tim and Sarah from like Ashland area. I met them actually when I was up that way. Is that what he's yeah, talking about? Jeebus Crisp. Jeebus Crips. Yeah, I, I actually met them both. Very nice people. We, we sat down and had a pint of Guinness together. Um, uh, yeah, no, absolutely. He, he loved to kind of throw that around. PhD Tony, good to see you, my friend, for five Aussie dollars says, uh, people need to be much more cautious with allegations or even questions without prior factual foundation. A full in investigation would take place. Now, I absolutely agree with Tony here. Um, and I do think it's fair for us to be very, very careful about any kind of allegations. And, and that actually goes with um, calling chili things like uh, that kind of predator or whatever. Um, and we do need to remember that as well. It, it wouldn't be fair for us all uh, to be out here making allegations and then kind of giving, giving heat to, um, you know, auditors and such for doing the exact same thing. So I suppose my whole view on this whole thing, I'm being very careful about how... I uh, talk about this purely because I simply don't know the details. And I agree with, with Tony. Uh, it's something that, that does require investigation. And both from us, like our position, but also from Chile's position, uh, talking about um, it being a cover-up and all of this kind of stuff. Um, that's where I would be very, very careful. But anyway, sorry, I just wanted to, to point that out anyway. I, I never um, argue with PHP Tony because I just know I'm about to get a shellacking. It's kind of like it's kind of like entering the ring with um, I don't know Conor McGregor on his good days, and just going like, yeah, I could kick his ass. Yeah, it's just not going to happen. Uh, Why do you have uh, Welch ask him about Chili's mass attack this weekend? Now I did see your uh, community post on that. Can you just tell us uh, a little bit um, about that? Uh, Chili got butt hurt that we've been. Posting the truth about him. So that doesn't sound like Chili. Decided for some reason to tell his Thanks supporters so much, to mass reporters and put in copyright strikes. Like, he doesn't seem to get the idea of the strides and effect that the more he does this, the more we're just going to talk about it and make it worse. You know what I mean? So, was there any outcome from that? Like, I was shut down for about a month by him. Um, oh, did yeah. anything kind of come back on you or? Yeah, that was great. We picked up 200 subscribers. Thanks, Chili. Oh, nice one, Chili. And you didn't have to bite him, unlike Chili, allegedly. Super allegedly, like almost definitely allegedly. Mm. Absolute dick. But yeah, um, no, YouTube haven't even contacted us about the report he was shown putting in. Well, that's the thing. So he put in a bunch of uh, claims against me. And after a while, it seemed like YouTube were kind of picked up on it and they were like, oh, okay, this guy's taking the piss. And then they actually stopped putting them through to me as well. Um, because he, he was obviously taking advantage of the, the whole situation. 
Uh, now, I do need to contact YouTube. I do have one outstanding, which is um, which is still uh, needing to be dealt with, but uh, hopefully I'll get that sorted out in the next couple of days. But uh, So do we have any other news uh, on that whole scenario, or how are we looking on all that? Um, there's no updates, and I wouldn't expect there to be no, until nor I. the FBI releases a public statement to the real press, not some yeah. jackass on the internet like me. Well, hopefully we do get something going. So tomorrow is when this rally is supposed to take place. So I'm assuming uh, Chile's going to be streaming that at some point. Uh, I would imagine so. Yeah, but no doubt about it's, it. It's one of them things. It's yeah, absolutely. Wait and see. There's really, I mean, I'm sure as you can understand, I get a lot of questions, and I'm sorry, but I just can't answer most of them. Either yeah. I don't have the knowledge, or I can't say what I do know. Yeah, yeah, which would be the stuff that the FBI told you not to say, basically. Yeah. Which is fair um, enough. I'm not going to argue with them. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, no, that's never going to work. Um, we have uh, the Dark Rook says, you shook Mr. Welch, good job. Well, that's the thing. Usually you're over the target when you start getting abused like this. I hope so. He hasn't said that I've been wrong at all. He's just called me scum, low life, and that I'm ugly. Well, guess what, Chili? I look in this, at this face in the mirror every day. I freaking know I'm ugly. I've known it a long time. I don't care. <laughs> if Chili's acting like a cult leader to kids, I would think the government would be watching him. That's a good point. Like quite possibly, because I know they're kind of looking at a lot of um a lot of these kind of culty types. There's a lot of them though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they gotta start somewhere though. Well, that's true. Like you'd wonder if maybe because of his um, you know, his <sighs> his kind of presence on the internet and the stuff that he is uh, being covered by, you know, like by people like us or whatever all the time, chances are that, you know, he's probably, he's probably known to somebody. I'd say yes, especially given not just that, but also his, at the same time, criminal actions he's been taking. And yeah. I'm not saying criminal as I think them. I mean, literal ones where he's been, you know, there are warrants for his arrest and stuff. That's got a flag up. Yeah, I mean, it's like, fair enough, he's not as big of a character as he seems to think he is. But he's big enough and, and annoying enough on the internet that he is being watched, I'm sure. I have no doubt about it. I mean, it's history uh -huh. online. I mean, it's history of involvement with law enforcement. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's it's kind of a it's it's um what would you say it's like a perfect storm really. Uh Snow White says isn't there two missing children? I have heard that but I don't know what the story is there. Yes, there were two children that they released they were con concerned about because they're the ones with chili material on their electronic devices so they were treating them more seriously than they would do an ordinary runaway yeah yeah there there's there's something weird in all of this it's kind of hard to uh to know where it's going to go um with dagger says if children are going over state lines sorry if children and going over state lines is involved the fbi will be on it um, it, it, I mean, it could be, it absolutely could be. And it seems like there is an open investigation. So it's kind of hard to know. It's kind of hard to know really. Uh, Chili had the eyewitness child on his stream. It was sickening. No way. Did he really? Yep. Oh yeah. Uh, how old is this child? Between 12 and 14. Ah, oh, Jesus. And I wonder, was, was there a parent there or like, was there a parent that made themselves known or what? Oh, there was a parent there, Lainey's okay. mother. Mm. And who was the child? Some friend of Lainey's. I wonder if the child's parent knew, you know what I mean? That's the weird thing. From what we understand, where that phone call was taken from was the candlelit vigil for Lainey. Right, 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 right. 
It's a, it's an interesting one. It's a very interesting one. Um, it needs a bit more uh, work, I think, on my part because I, I definitely wouldn't be comfortable saying anything for certain. Without you know, I'll, I'll watch your stream and watch Chili stream and see what the story is. Jerry Ann says, uh, "I appreciate your sensitivity to this subject, so you're not muttering the waters." I think it's probably the best way to do it for me, anyway, at the moment because, as I say, I'm I'm just kind of, it, it's a lot of it's very new to me, so I'm I'm definitely kind of treading very very carefully. Um, Jim Finch says it was a recorded interview. Lainey's mom passed around the phone to people who were there. Yep. Okay. Okay. It's really, yeah, it's just very strange. It seems like he's really pushing to get himself involved in this situation. It's, well, it's very there's unusual. A strong rumor that he might be officially, as apparently they have these things in America, the family's media consultant. Interesting. <laughs> Might have to look into that. Has he commented on that, or where where's that coming from? Uh, that came partly from him and partly from the family. Okay, okay. So it gives him kind of some level of um, of legitimacy, I think. Yeah, to some extent. I mean, to to people like us who know what he's all about, there's no legitimacy in it. But you know, it's but um, the whole thing. There's no part of this story that just doesn't make you feel immensely sad, sick, disgusted, and angry. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's gross. There's definitely something weird going on. Uh, Michael Brookman says, uh, I just hope in the individuals, what the individuals are saying about the FBI is true. If not, they're no better than Chile. All we're saying is that being in contact with the FBI, there's an open investigation. That's it. Yeah, I'm not commenting on the FBI's investigation or anything else. Yeah, and that's fair enough. That's fair enough. I wonder, yeah, I wonder if he's being paid for being a media consultant or like a spokesperson or whatever. I believe usually they get a percentage of the settlement for these kind of things from right. what I've looked into. I've got to, uh, I'm going to reach out to him for comment on that. Or Chitty, you're obviously watching. So can you comment on that? Uh, let me know how much are you getting paid, bud? What's the percentage? I really would be interested to uh, to see what he's got to say with that. Uh, but anyway, guys, we're coming up on an hour and a half. I'm going to get out of here because I got to go get to bed because I got some stuff I got to do tomorrow. And um, and yeah, we'll we'll try pick this up uh, over the next couple of days and see what else uh, comes out about this whole thing. It's a very interesting story and it's a very interesting uh, thing to kind of have a look at. It's it's a bit deeper than you know what we've kind of seen before. Obviously, we've seen some nasty shit come from Chile before. This one's a bit deeper. Um, so anyway, with that, folks, I am going to bounce. Uh, before I do, uh, this one comes from Sister Scallop, just came in for $5, says, this whole story is implausible with no proof. Even a Scallop can see it's just gossip and potentially lies. Um, well, as I say, from my perspective, um, obviously I haven't seen any evidence of anything uh, as of yet because it's all completely new to me. So I just simply don't know, frankly, where where the information's at or whatever. Uh, what say you on that one, Welsh? I'm always telling people, my viewers included, <clears throat> do not believe any of us on the internet. Go look things up, do your own research, and decide for yourself. Don't let we can guide you in the right way. We can tell you what we think, but for God's sake, don't take anything we say as gospel. You'd be foolish to. There is too much out there. There's too many bad characters out there. Yeah. No, that's fair enough. Uh, Good Citizen News asks, why would Welsh report it to the FBI and then publicly let everyone know there's an investigation going on? Because I'm more concerned about the children. Okay. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Kimmy Dawn, thank you so much indeed. You have a great day. Um... I think that's about all of the comments. Um, so uh, thank you so much for joining me, uh, Welsh News Network, and thank you for the updates and for kind of filling us in on all the details there. And definitely if anything else comes out, uh, do uh, do get in touch and um, you know, obviously only share what, what you can, basically. that's uh, That goes without saying. Uh, Dearman seems to think it's... Well, what did he say? Dearman says it's bollocks. Um, I don't know what you have to say about that one. <laughs> He's entitled to his opinion. 
That's fair enough. That's a fair enough answer to that one. Uh, anybody else before we get out of here? Uh, we've got about a half a minute left. So anybody else who's got any other uh, things that they'd like to add or ask, now's the time to do it. Um, but it seems not. So uh, with that, folks, thank you all so much. Uh, thank you again to Welsh News Network. I appreciate it. And uh, definitely keep me updated over the next couple of days. Thank you so much indeed. <laughs>